Well hello there, welcome to today's walking tour of film locations around central London. We're starting today's tour at Millennium Bridge. Closest tube station on this side of the Thames is Mansion House and it's served by the Circle and the District Line. So let's get to it. So Millennium Bridge opened in the year 2000. Very quickly afterwards it was closed again because it was too wobbly because of the suspension. It was closed for a total of two years and reopened again in 2002. The most famous film that was used this bridge is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince when the Death Eaters fly over the bridge and destroy it on its way past the Tate Modern. This bridge was also used in Guardians of the Galaxy, although you wouldn't quite know. At 1 hour and 31 minutes, Day's wife and child run across the bridge and it's nearly destroyed in an attack. What they've done is they kind of remodelled this bridge and popped it into another planet within the galaxy. So although you can tell it's the Millennium Bridge, you wouldn't especially know it was filmed here. <laughs> Millennium Bridge was also used in Series 1, Episode 7 of The Rook. So in the episode, Mufanwi ends up on this side of the bridge as her memory starts to disappear as she's chased by the Lugat goons. So Mission Impossible Fallout, Ethan runs up this way here towards the tower because he's chasing Walker who actually has a helicopter waiting at the top of the tower. So also right here towards the east side of the building, Constantine finds Villanelle having a steering competition with a human statue outside the Tate Modern in Killing Eve, Series 2, Episode 5, right here. So the Oxo Tower is a building on the South Bank here in London. It's got a very prominent tower which says Oxo in it, but you can't really see it from down here. It's a bit 
high up to get the angle. So the building does have multiple uses as galleries, arts and crafts shops, but most famously known is the Oxo Tower restaurant. So Thor The Dark World was actually filmed up in the restaurant and it's a scene where Jane goes on a date with Richard which is interrupted by Darcy. I was seeing a woman and uh, she took a job in New York. Eventually the distance killed it. And, and the fact that she, uh, she kept sleeping with other dudes. No. Oh, so many. <laughs> Hi. Um, could we get some wine, please? Sure, I'd love some. Richard, this is Darcy. So right behind me inside the wharf, it was actually used as Mark's office in Love Actually. It's kind of hard to make out, but it was definitely in there. We're now standing on Gabriel's Wharf, just behind me in the building with the three windows, is where they used to film this morning. We've now moved into the BBC Television Centre with pre-recording images of the Thames. So it's on this bench here that Sam tells Daniel he's in love with Joanna in Love Actually. The truth is, actually, I'm in love. Sorry? I know I should be thinking about Mum all the time, and I am. But the truth is, I'm in love. And I was before she died, and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Aren't you a bit young to be in love? No. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I'm a little relieved. So this is the first of our two meetings today with Julia Roberts and Clive Owen. It was here where we hands of a blue balloon in Closer. So founded by Laurence Olivier, the National Theatre Building is actually one of the UK's finest arts venues. It was used for a thrilling chase scene in Spooks, as well as in Four Weddings and a Funeral. What's the target? I'm just standing next to Jubilee Gardens that were built in 1977 to mark the Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. So in an episode of Doctor Who that was filmed just here, the Doctor and Clara emerge from the TARDIS and pretend it's just a magic trick along the waterfront here at the Thames. Thank you! Thank you! Yes, magic blue box, all donations, gratefully accepted. Roll up, roll up, give us your dosh. Oh, pennies, pounds, anything you've got. Just keep affecting. We need enough for breakfast. Just popping back to the garage. So now standing at the London Eye, which is a cantilevered observation wheel. It's actually the tallest observation wheel in Europe at 135 metres high and 120 metres in diameter. 
In Fantastic Four, The Rise of the Silver Surfer, it was actually used as a film location as the Fantastic Four have to save the London Eye from collapsing into the River Thames and save all the visitors on board. Parks and Recreation, it's used where Andy and April are inside one of the capsules and April advises Andy to stay in London to fulfil his opportunity that he's been offered. However, in reality, it was actually so Chris Pratt could leave and film Guardians of the Galaxy for a couple of months before returning to Parks and Recreation. <laughs> Just beside the London Eye in the County Hall building, there are a variety of attractions that you can visit, including the London Dungeons, the Shrek Adventure, which is a 4D family experience, and Sea Life London Aquarium. It was in Sea Life London Aquarium where Julie Roberts and Clive Owen meet up in the movie Closer. Behind me is Westminster Bridge. Westminster Bridge is painted predominantly green to mark the Houses of Commons, contrasting to Lambeth Bridge, which is painted red for the House of Lords. So it's used in several films. Inspector James Bond confronts Blofeld after Blofeld's helicopter crashes on the bridge. Wait, wait, wait. Was filmed here was a post-apocalyptic horror 28 days later, where Jim walks across a deserted Westminster Bridge. Hello! In 102 Dalmatians, everything's painted black and white. <laughs> Wouldn't you be more comfortable in the car? <laughs> Hello? Nutella, Alice gone, and crew Alice back! <laughs> and it was also used in Sherlock Holmes. Westminster Station was also used in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It was a tube station where Arthur Weasley comments on the underground trains to Harry while escorting him to the Ministry of Magic. Trains? Underground? You genius, these muggles.
Skyfall, James Bond emerges from Westminster Station on his way to save Emma and meet him by running along the street towards Whitehall. Here today, I remember this, I think, from Tennyson. We are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven. So that brings us to the end of our walking tour. Don't forget to check out georgiandan.com for a downloadable, usable map so you can do this walk yourself. We hope you enjoyed our vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below and we'll see you later. So the Oxo Tower here in London is a building with a very prominent tower which you can't really see. It's, it's up there and it says Oxo on it. Um, on the South Bank so in... <laughs> <laughs> did you go? <laughs>